For 40 weeks I carried you as part of me. I didn't know you but felt you when you were small as could be. You entered the world weighing seven pounds 13, a bundle of beauty. I was living my dream. Weeks one and two were a hazy affair of nappies and kisses and sick everywhere. We stayed in our bubble, not venturing out. Sleepless but happy and managing that new parent doubt. Doubt that we understood all your needs, juggling the crying and struggling with feeds. Those weeks rolled on and we hit the six week mark. When they checked you and weighed you, it felt like the end of the start. Now you weren't a newborn, you were getting chubbier by the day, you were smiling and rolling and starting to play. Well, not quite play, but you loved to stare at all your toys and you'd started to perfect your dino screeching noise. Six weeks became 16 and we took you on a plane. Our very first holiday, we flew off to Spain. So holidays definitely aren't what they used to be, much less tanning and very little time to read. Lots of splashing about in the pool and staying in the shade to keep you cool. If you ever doubt my love for you, my little man, just remember that for you, I sacrificed a tan. At seven months you had your first Christmas day. You were sitting by then and loved to play with all the packaging from everyone's toys. You'd perfected your giggle, my all-time favourite noise. Then, just one week later, another plane ride. Twelve hours of flying, you took it all in your stride. Sleeping the whole way, I was one proud mama. Then we landed in Zimbabwe for some winter summer. Safaris and waterfalls, treks and the heat. With lots of new sights and new things to eat, you were the perfect little traveller, loving every day. Meeting new family that lived too far away. Back to England and we reached the 40 week milestone. Funny to think that the world had now been your home for longer than you lived inside me. A big chubby baby from just a small pea. 12 weeks have passed and we've hit the big five too. How did that happen? I haven't a clue. I beg time to slow down but she doesn't listen to me. Just keeps rolling forwards as fast as can be. 365 days. That's how long we've had you so far, and every day has been magical. Well, maybe bar a few teething shockers and sleepless nights. But it's funny how in time those slip from your mind. You've learned to stand and you're so nearly walking. But for now you do some very special crab style crawling. I know it's my job to prepare you for the world. To encourage you to not need me too much when you're old. But my heart hurts a little when I think of the ways that you're needing me less with these passing days. You are a part of me, living in my very core. You fed from my body, but not anymore. There was a time when you'd sleep in your cot beside me, and I'd lie in the dark and listen to you breathe, because every parent has a deep-rooted fear that something will happen to you if we're not near. But now, you sleep in a room of your own, and I wish I hadn't blinked, because in that time we've grown. I'm doing my best, I hope it's enough. Teaching you right from wrong, all that important stuff. But really, all I want you to know is that whatever you do and wherever you go, you're so very loved and so deeply known. You are my son. What a crazy thought. I remember like yesterday, that May the 4th. And yes, by the way, I know that date is Star Wars Day. We named you Jet. I love what it means, a rebel, but not of the Star Wars theme. I hope that the kind of rebel we'll raise is one that is kind and one that is brave. A rebel that breaks society's rules and speaks up for the quiet ones, no matter how small. Jet Josie Francis, you are a popular boy. All that meet you say you bring such joy. You have two parents that love you with their whole hearts, and they know that that love is only the start. You are one sweet boy, already one whole year grown. One big life ahead of you. Oh, the places you'll go.